Hey, footy fans, time for a bit more footy fun with Footy Finn. And look, to be honest, there's so much going on across the two rugby codes, particularly here in Australia and across the Dutch and New Zealand at the moment, <clears throat> that I find it hard to keep up. Um, so look, we're just coming off the back of NRL season opener in Las Vegas. We've got the rest of round one about to kick off. This weekend, uh, Super Rugby, we're going into round three. And then, of course, we got the Six Nations Rugby Championship round four happening this weekend. So, um, look, I'll just touch on a bit of rugby, rugby union first, and then into NRL. Um, so, look, a um, bit of interesting news out of Melbourne in the past couple of days. There's talk that the Melbourne Rebels club is actually going to sue Rugby Australia now. Um, who knows what the hell's going on there? I, I, I don't really know. It's just going from the sublime to the ridiculous at the moment. Um, it kind of looks like the uh, the Crusaders from the South, you know Canterbury region in New Zealand have been so dominant for so long, but they've lost their first two games on the trot. Um, to last year's grand finalist, the Chiefs, and then a surprising loss in Melbourne to the New South Wales Waratahs. So I don't know what's going on there. Uh, of course, they have lost their coach to the All Blacks and a number of key players. Key All Blacks moved off to Japan and, and other places. Um, so maybe that is, in fact, the end of the dynasty there. Um, I'm going to do um, a short previewing the Six Nations and maybe previewing Round 3 Super Rugby if I get around to it. Keep an eye out for that. Um, okay, into NRL. And, um, of course, we had the first two games of the season in Las Vegas last weekend. Now, starting on Thursday, the rest of round one of the season proper home and away fixtures kick off uh, from McDonald Jones Stadium in Newcastle, Steel City on Thursday night. The, the Knights take on the Raiders. I'll preview the teams in just a moment. Friday, the early game, the Warriors host the Sharks, and then the Storm hosts the Panthers. A couple of mouth-watering games there. Uh, Saturday afternoon, the Eels up against the Bulldogs. They renew their rivalry from the uh, 80s. And then the Titans host the Dragons. And then finishing off on Sunday afternoon with an old Queensland derby at Lang Park, the Dolphins host the Cowboys. Um, so, look, interesting time, some interesting matchups there. Uh, Thursday night, uh, the Knights host the Raiders, of course. Uh, that happened in a uh, one of the finals matches last year. Uh, the Raiders actually put up a, a gutsy effort, but were beaten um, in front of a packed house in Newcastle. Um, so, look, the two teams in brief. Uh, Canberra, Rapana, Kotrick, Tomoko, Hopoare, Savage, Strange, Fogarty, Papali'i, Levi, Tapene, Young, Hosking, Smithies at lock, Starling, Gula, Mariotta and Salo on the bench. Now the Knights have got uh, Ponga, their captain at fullback, Tuala, Gagai and Best in the centres, two origin players. Marju on the other wing, Hastings and Gamble in the halves again, Sofidi Crossland and Thompson in the front row, Frizzell, Lucas and Elliott in the back row, and then Cogger, Sofidi, Hetherington and Pierce Paul on the bench. A couple of, should be a pretty close matchup I would say, a couple of points to note. Um, the Raiders have of course lost Jack Whiten to the Rabbitohs um, from the 5'8th position. That is going to be a big loss. Big shoes to fill there. Uh, they've got a young fella called Ethan Strange coming in. That might be a challenge for him. Uh, the Knights pretty much of, uh, as far as I can see, retained close to their, um, close to their, you know, 17 that did so well for them last year. And in addition, they've recruited Jack Cogger. Of course, he came off the bench in the Panthers' grand final victory last year. He replaced Jerome Luai and did very well for himself. I think he won a Super League title in England in the season before that as well. So he'll be a great addition there uh, in the halves. So, look, on the back of all that, I'm tipping the Knights to win this one. Uh, look out for some other shorts previewing the other games over the weekend. 
Um, bring it on. Can't wait. Exciting times. Exciting time to be a fan of the rugby codes in Australia. Um, until next time, catch it between the sticks. See ya.